So before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that the camera angle looks a lot different from all my past videos because I have a new camera stand. I'll probably put a picture on the screen just so you guys could see what it looks like, but this looks so professional. It does look a little bit weird because I'm so used to you guys actually seeing the lights but I think it'll grow on me. Also, another thing, if you guys want to support your boy, you could subscribe to the YouTube channel or you guys could subscribe to my Patreon. There's a $2 tier, $5 tier, and a $10 tier. For everybody that's a $5 or $10 tier, we'll have a chance to win prizes. So keep that in mind. What's up guys, it's your host Hunter Joshi and welcome back to another haul time. And as you can see from the title of this video or the thumbnail, you guys know we're shopping on a brand new clothing brand. Well, actually, this isn't a brand new clothing brand, but since it's kind of new to me, it's kind of brand new. So one day I had got off of work and I want to say it was a Friday night, which is also the same day I get paid. So you already know your boy was about to go spend some money. On top of that, it was a very long work day. So I kind of felt like I needed to, you know, spoil myself a little bit. So one day I was laying in bed after a long day of work like i said and i was scrolling through instagram and all of a sudden i end up stumbling upon this clothing brand so i got a little bit curious went to their page look at a lot of their posts i was like damn they got some heat so then i went to their website and then that's when it happened your boy spent i don't even i don't even remember and then your boy bought himself multiple items from clot or k clot i'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it but for the sake of the video i'm just gonna say clot because i think it'd just be easier on me but if you know how to actually pronounce it comment down below so your boy doesn't look like a complete dumbass <laughs> also another thing i want to let you guys know a lot of these videos from now on will be filmed out of order the reason why i'm doing that is because one it's easy to work around my work schedule usually if i try to do a video from intro all the way to outro it takes around 25 to 35 minutes to do which is completely draining because by the beginning of the video i'm usually like energetic but then by the end of the video i'm usually kind of drained so i feel like doing it this way is just easier on me because i could film 10 15 minutes one day another 10 15 minutes the next and it's just a whole lot easier on me so if i'm ever wearing multiple outfits in one video that's because a lot of the parts are filmed on different days so just wanted to get that out there also before we jump in i will be giving y'all guys my honest thoughts of clot I have some good things to say while I also have some bad things to say. Well, not really bad things, but criticism, I guess you could say. So make sure you guys stay till the end of the video. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight in. Kobe. So we got the clot or K clot. I really do dig uh, the packaging. It's kind of different, you know, it's like a I don't even know how you would describe this purple. It almost looks pinkish in person, but on the camera, it looks really like Barney colored, I guess. Where's my scissors? So yeah, this video was most definitely gonna be filmed out of order because your boy has a busy schedule and I have to record like three videos tonight. So yeah, your boy's on his grind. Hopefully I didn't fuck around and just cut into whatever this is. I don't even remember what I ordered. That probably just shows how addicted I am to ordering online because I literally just be buying things and forget what I order. So we're gonna go ahead and put those off to the side and uh, just start digging in okay so we have all of it into like one package which i think is really cool and probably just made it a lot easier to just ship out instead of having like three of these they just put it all into one throw that over there honestly that's actually really smart to just put it into one package it makes my room less dirty because whenever i do these haul videos as soon as i start unboxing or unbagging everything my room is just piled up with trash and it just sits there for like a day or two before i actually get my lazy ass up to you know actually clean it but this way i actually dig it okay we're gonna start off with this little item right here jesus it's stuck in there i'm not entirely sure what this is i think it's like jewelry or something i'm gonna show y'all guys first I don't know what this is. Jeez, I have no nails. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we have some jewelry right here. I'm assuming this is something that could like go around my wrist if it could actually fit. If this doesn't fit, then I don't know what to do with it. Damn, this is hard to get on right now because every time I have to like get it close, I'm slowly and gradually going like this. So if I do get this on, I'll just, I don't know, put a picture on the screen. And if not, then uh, probably just give it away. Okay, we have something right, what is this? Okay, they sent me socks. Two, two pairs of ankle socks, and they say clot or K clot. Like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it. If you guys know, comment down below. It also says it right here. They just feel like socks. I don't know <laughs> what else to say. Actually, funny enough, I'm actually not wearing socks right now, so I'll just, uh, I guess, just put them on right now. Okay, they actually feel a little bit stretchy. And to show you guys that I'm actually wearing them right now, I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my telephone, and record my feet real quick. Okay, never thought I'd be recording my feet on a, a YouTube video, but there you go. What was that? So whenever I was pulling the next item out, this fell out, and it says Clot Unique Fragrance. So I'm not entirely sure what this is, so I'm going to just tear it open. What is in here? Okay, we have like this little, I don't even know. I don't even know. But apparently it's like a fragrance thing. Oh, okay. So whenever you're shipping something, you could put something like this in here. And I guess it's supposed to give it like a fresh, brand new smell to it. And this is, I guess, what's keeping it obviously fresh. Because a lot of times when you buy clothes from online, they always have like a weird, funky smell to it. But this actually smells really good. Okay, so we have a t-shirt. It's a little wrinkly, obviously, because it's, you know, in one package. But here we go. Okay, so we got a big ass heart. What the hell? Y'all ever play Pac-Man? He looks like he has a little ghost in his mouth. But he also has like these trippy looking eyeballs. I'm getting some real Tyler, the creator, Cherry Bomb vibes. It also has a tag, K-Clot. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all guys this tag right here, just in case y'all want to look at that. Sadly, there's no designs on the back, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. Also, it's a large, just in case you guys are wondering. I wear mediums and large, but I've mostly just been transitioning more into the large and extra large because I like oversized t-shirts, which is like a new thing that I'm kind of into. For a long time, I used to just wear shirts that like were kind of fitted, but not like too tight, you know? But now just wearing giant big t-shirts, they just feel so comfortable and you could just rock it with anything. All right, put this off to the side. Now we have the item I've been looking at this whole time oh wait there's another item bro how much money did i spend jesus christ okay i'm gonna show this one first holy fuck okay so i'm gonna show the back first look at this bro what the fuck it says los angeles uh spartans on the back i'm a little confused on why it says spartans when it has like a tiger logo you think they would actually have like a spartan logo or something i don't know if you guys can see that but it says hustle on both sides Hey, yo, they got my favorite number, 69. Also forgot to say this, but it also has 2020 embroidered. All of this is embroidered. This feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap, so I'm really curious on how much I paid for this. There's a lot of stuff on this jacket, Jesus. I'm gonna let y'all guys read that one. It also buttons up, six buttons. Let me show the front. I might have to stand up for this. It says Los Angeles, California, 1984. And I'm not gonna lie, this actually goes really hard with this hat. I might actually have to wear this in my next video. I might wear this right after I record this. Cause I, like I said, I have a bunch of other videos out there to record. So this is definitely gonna be rocked with this hat. Ow, I hit this. <laughs> Jeez, I hit my head so hard. The price for this is on the screen right now. And bro, this might actually be my favorite jacket. Also, this is a large as well. Definitely gonna take some dope pictures with this. And now we have another jacket. This one might be better, if not as good as the last one. The material already feels different. The other one felt kind of like baggy, like something you would wear if it was like cold. This one feels a little bit thinner, but I feel like it would make you heat up a little bit like if it was cold. I'm trying to fix the collar real quick. Okay, so this one doesn't have any designs on the back, so I'm gonna go ahead, stand up, and show y'all the whole thing. Dude, this is so dope. What does it say? I think these are like different brands that might have like sponsored this or something. I don't even know. This looks like something like a race car driver would wear. Kind of like the last one I just showed y'all. Palaka? It just says Palaka. I'm not sure what that means or if I'm even pronouncing it right, but 
This is dope, and it even has some stuff on the side as well. I can't read what this says. But I'm gonna try to put it on the screen for y'all. If you can make these words out, uh, just comment it down below. As well as these, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the screen for y'all. Just in case y'all guys could actually read those because I can't read for shit. <laughs> but yeah, these are all the items we have for this order. So I'm gonna let future Huncho handle the rest of this video. Peace. So welcome back. And if you guys are looking at the screen right now, you guys will be seeing how much I paid in this video because I honestly don't remember. I never remember in any of these videos, which just goes with the whole me probably being addicted to uh, online shopping. Mm. But like I said, I do have some good things and some criticism to say about this website, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start with my criticism. So whenever you start ordering clothes off any website or clothing brand, whatever, you always have to make an account so you could be able to track your orders and other shit like that. So I made myself an account. Now, after I ordered and I received my packages, I was like, you know what? I'll probably do a part two of shopping on Clot. So I tried signing into my account, but for some reason, it kept telling me my password was invalid. <laughs> which made no sense. So I was like, all right, I'll just change my password. So I go through the whole process where I have to uh, send like this link that gives me a code and I have to use that code to basically reset my password. But every time I did that, it kept telling me there was no account connected to my Gmail, which made no sense because how was I able to receive the code if I didn't have my Gmail connected to this account? So then I was like, you know what? I'll just try to make a new account. But then whenever I tried making a new account, it kept telling me there's already an account connected to this Gmail. So which is it? Is it my account isn't connected to my Gmail or is my Gmail already connected to this account? So if anybody that works at Clot is watching this, hopefully you guys could, uh, you know, just hit me up on Instagram or, or any of my socials, then uh, we could try to get this sorted out. So that's one issue right there. Another issue I have is that for one, I actually ended up not buying this item. The reason why they sent me this and the socks, which I don't know where they're at. I think I already lost mm. them. The reason why they sent me this little bracelet and the socks is because they actually didn't have one of my items. If you're looking on the screen right now, this is a mask that I actually bought from this website. And I guess they ran out or something because they didn't send it with the rest of my items. So I tried emailing them, uh, letting them know that I didn't receive this order. And if it was possible for them to send another one, or just refund me the 30 something bucks for this mask. And that was about a week ago and I've still yet to have received any messages from them. So obviously I'm having problems signing into my account, having issues getting into contact with them. It's already not looking too well. Now the good things I will say about this brand, even though it's not looking too well, they do have some very high quality clothing. You know, the materials don't really feel cheap for the prices you're paying for them. They're on the same level. I would put them at Boohoo Man but probably a little bit higher because the jackets they have versus the jackets I've gotten off Boohoo Man feel a lot different. But the jackets from Clot feel like they're using a little bit more expensive material. Now I could be wrong about that. By the way it feels and by the way I'm wearing it, it just feels, it just doesn't feel cheap. But the price says otherwise. So the materials look good. The packaging was surprisingly really good. I liked how it kind of had like this pinkish, purplish looking color. And I also liked how they, uh, how they basically put all the items Items into one so it was just easier to receive but yeah those are all the good things I have to say about it like I said I wanted to be able to talk about some of the good things and some of my criticism just so it didn't look like I'm trying to you know over hype them a little bit that's not what this haul time series is for I want to be able to speak my full-on mind if there's ever something that doesn't feel right obviously I'm going to speak out about it because I don't want to be like oh everything is good and then y'all buy something and it's you know not good so just keep these in mind I would say they're true to size but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. If you guys want me to do a part two, comment down below. But all in all, I will definitely be shopping from them sometime in the future. And uh, yeah, if you guys know any other brands I should shop, comment down below. I have another haul time video that should be out maybe next month uh, or later next month because it's October. I plan on doing some spooky videos for October. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Shout out to my lovely patrons. Like I said, if you guys want to support your boy, you can subscribe to the Patreon. There's a $2 tier, $5 tier, $10 tier. Every $5, $10 tiers get shouted out at the end of every video and we'll have chances to win prizes. Make sure you guys like, comment, share to support your boy, subscribe if you're new. And if you are new, check out all my other series and don't forget to hit the bell to be alarmed whenever a new banger is out. I'm your host, Hunter Joshi, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Love y'all. Stay clean and I'll see you guys next time.